Destiny 2 has just launched a major expansion with the Witch Queen, and I'm here to give you my initial thoughts and impressions of it all while playing it on GeForce Now's 3080 tier. As a quick heads up, all the gameplay you're seeing in the background has been captured off a GeForce Now instance. Let me begin by saying that the Witch Queen is the best expansion that Destiny 2 has had to date. It's absolutely a stellar experience that's well worth the asking price if you're a Destiny 2 fan, and that's because they've managed to mix things up and make it interesting enough to actually want to engage with the game yet again. Speaking strictly about the campaign here, they've managed to introduce a great storyline with great level design and new mechanics that get introduced throughout each mission. There's also a legendary difficulty that you can choose to do if you really want to put your guardian to the test, but do note, this is extremely tough. And yes, you will be rewarded for beating the campaign entirely on legendary difficulty, with a new exotic, new gear, as well as a new emblem and triumph. You will be able to go back and do this at any time after completing the campaign as well, in case you want to try it out later. But on top of introducing a new campaign, the game is really mixing things up and making things exciting by changing up some core gameplay elements. There's a whole new weapon crafting system that the Destiny 2 community is just really starting to dig into, and it seems like there's a ton of potential there. Then there's the new weapon type called the Glaive, which is a very fun and satisfying weapon to use. The melee feels really heavy and on point, but also extremely powerful. Not to mention, its secondary fire can also prop up a shield for use, and it makes it even deadlier. The expansion also introduces the new subclass update for Void 3.0. When you go to customize your Void subclass, there's a whole lot more to play around with, and it's fantastic because it lets you actually tailor your character to how your preferred playstyle should be. This sort of thing can't be understated. It's a big enough update that it will introduce a new meta to the Destiny 2 universe, there will be new builds and new ways to just overall come up with crazy ideas. I feel like class customization is something that Destiny always lacked and I'm glad that they're really improving it here. For those wondering, Arc and Solar 3.0 are on the way and they will be introduced with the next seasons, but right now only Void 3.0 is available. It's a taste of what's to come. And look, there's plenty more I can go into detail about, but there's just been a ton of gameplay shifts that are happening in this new expansion. As I said in the beginning, this has to be the best expansion Destiny has seen to date. I would actually put it over the Forsaken as well as the Taken King for Destiny 1. The introduction of the new hunters that are able to use guardian-like abilities is absolutely crazy. They're not to be played with, and they will pose a challenge when they show up. All these additions make Destiny 2 feel like a more cohesive game, but more than that, they make it interesting again. I do think that some people out there might not like the amount of complexity that's being added, but I really do feel that this is the right path for Destiny to take if it wants to continue expanding on Destiny 2 without reaching the number 3. It goes without saying that this is the early days of the expansion, I'm sure that there will be some issues as well as problems that need to be updated and hotfixed as things keep going, but for now, The Witch Queen by far is a top recommendation for anyone who once played Destiny like myself or has been playing it this entire time. I think both groups will be satisfied, and if you're a new player, well, honestly, I think it'd be a good time to jump in. Chances are that this is just the start for what we're going to see coming in the future. It seems like there's some really big revamps happening to pretty integral systems, and right now is a good time to hop in and learn them as they introduce more and more. Now, speaking specifically about playing this on GeForce Now, fantastic experience. Destiny 2 has always been one of the go-to cloud games that I always suggest. It's one of the titles with the lowest latency in the cloud. In my own setup, which isn't under ideal conditions by any means, I'm actually on the upper end for what GeForce Now recommends. On the 3080 tier, I'm sitting at a click to pixel latency of 98 milliseconds. That's pretty much only 10 milliseconds away from a local Xbox Series X, just in case you're wondering. And as you can tell by the gameplay in the background, I'm not struggling whatsoever to score some headshots on keyboard and mouse. Overall, the 3080 tier experience continues to be fantastic here, and I can't recommend it enough. Now, if you have any remaining questions about the Witch Queen expansion, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll answer what I can. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related and until next time i'll catch you in the clouds